Sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great. For now salvation and strength have come, and the power of his Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Let us prepare for the sacred mysteries, acknowledging God's love and asking forgiveness for our sin. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. <coughs> In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for Derby. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church and with prayer and fasting commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there, they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your, your friends, friends make, make known, known, O Lord, the glorious splendor, splendor of, of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your, your friends, friends make known, O Lord, Lord the, the glorious Lord. splendor of your kingdom making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends, your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your, your friends, friends make known, O oh Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. continue on with the Acts of the Apostles and the, this missionary journey that Paul is on with also Barnabas. And we've heard of his being stoned. And again, like I said before, it's not like what's going to happen in New Mexico soon with everybody being stoned with marijuana. Uh, no, uh, they dragged him out of the city, leaving him there for dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, it's sort of like he came back to life again. And not only that, he went back into the city where they had just stoned him. You would think it's... I've had enough of this. I'm getting out of this town. I'm going someplace where it's safer, better, easier. No. He just went right back in. I guess it's, he must have been an old cowboy. You know, they say if the horse throws you, you get right back on the horse. And the point is, that he preached and taught. It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. Now, now that's not something that most of us, or most when they're thinking about God or religion or being spiritual, they're not thinking about hardships. They're they're thinking, oh, God, take away this pain from me. Oh, God, take away this anxiety from me. Oh, God, let me pass this test. Let me get this job. Let this go well for me. Take away this illness. Help me to overcome this disease. What we're wanting most of the time is not hardship at all. Uh, we, want, we want our life to just kind of float by and sort of nice and pain-free without any cares, no worries. You know, like the end of fairy tales, that we can live happily ever after. But that's not what the Word of God says. It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. And Paul is showing the hardships that need to be endured. And he does endure them. And what is at the end when he's giving the report? Does he say, 
and I did this, and I was able to do this, and I was, no. Reported what God had done with them and how God had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. It's not Paul saying, I did this, and I did that, and I got the, it's, this is the work of God. What, what God had done with them. When you see that you're called by God and God is using you as an instrument, then it's the work of God and how God is opening the door to others by the witness that we give, letting God we're the instrument and God's the one that is the surgeon or the one, the, the craftsman who's using this instrument, using it well, to open the door of faith to others. And it just might be through seeing our faithfulness, even in the midst of hardship, that people are converted. Now the gospel speaks of peace. Not as the world gives it, do I give it to you. It's really evident from this reading of the Acts of the Apostles, the peace of Christ was in Paul's heart, in his every fiber of his being. It was that peace that helped him to face these dangers and these hardships and to continue going forth and joyfully proclaiming Jesus as crucified and risen. I mention this simply as a model for us, that we have the scriptures present these wonderful, you know, people speak about heroes. And he's a hero, she's a hero, or heroine. Well, the church presents these people to us as these are our heroes in the faith. You know, flesh and blood like you and me. Called by God like you and me. Strengthened by the gift of the Holy Spirit like you and me. And what they were able to accomplish because they acted on that word and relied on the grace of God, the Spirit of God, to help them to bear witness. So whatever hardship it may be that you or I have to face today, let us do so in imitation of Paul the Apostle. Not moaning and complaining about it, but giving thanks to God. Thank you. And then through this, may I be your instrument however poor an instrument I may be, but you're the skilled surgeon. You're the skilled craftsman. You use me effectively so that the peace that I have in my heart can also be given to others through me. Let us pray. We pray for the church that she may continually be built up by the preaching of the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church's missionaries, like Paul the Apostle and Barnabas, that our missionaries may effectively bear witness to Christ and bring them, bring all peoples through the gospel to the gift of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the leaders of nations and heads of government here in our country and everywhere work for that peace that is based upon the justice that comes from God and promoting the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are facing anxieties, fears, worries, because of pandemic, financial downturn, illness, what 
whatever the cause, that the peace of Christ may continue to reign in their hearts, even in the midst of all of these troubles. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for a swift end to the pandemic, and for the, the government and the, uh, the populace of India that is suffering so terribly now with COVID, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those commended to our prayers today, for the repose of the deceased Ophelia Romero, may she rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear the prayers of your church gathered here this day. Help us to imitate your son Jesus and the Apostle Paul in bearing witness to the Christ who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice on my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. Alleluia. body of Christ the 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 body of Christ. 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 body of Christ Amen. the body of Christ 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 The body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.